Hi, here we're looking at some of the key features of list pages in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. So if I just head to one of the master data pages, the customer's list page. So here on the customer's list page, firstly we've got a, a specific structure that will be the same on all list pages. Across the top here we have the command bar. So each of these you've got an immediate function or you've got a little drop down that will show you the actions that you can perform for the currently selected record or the currently selected customer in this case. So on process and here on report I can create new documents for them, investigate their contacts, look at any attachments, notes or links. I can open the entire current view of the list in Excel. On actions I have a whole range of sub options. I can create other new documents. I can look into their history, find their ledger entries. For example if I click that one it will take me to a second list page listing all of their ledger entries. If I select a customer with some actual data and then have a look at actions, look at history and ledger entries we see it opens a second list page for me detailing all of this customer's ledger entries. Common features, same idea, command bar, but we've also got options that might be quite useful here such as this double headed arrow to show this in the wide layout view. That way I can see more columns and get a much clearer picture of the data. When I'm finished I can click in the grey to the left or hit the back arrow to return to the page I came from. If you're looking at the screen on a smaller width you'll probably see more options so we can toggle between more options and less options to get the full range of menu options. On the right hand side here we have the fact box pane with separate fact boxes one for Power BI reports that's not currently activated one for the cell to customer sales history. Each of these boxes is giving me live data for example here they have four ongoing sales orders if I click that box with the four in it it will take me to a list view of those four sales orders. So this gives me quick access to related information to the account um, based on documents relating to the account. If I go a bit further down, the customer statistics fact box gives me our sort of ov our overview, our trading position with them. And I've got flow fields here which are clickable. So for example, balance LCY, balance local currency, at 168,000 pounds, if I click, it will take me through to the open ledger entries that make up that balance. So this is actually a filtered list to this customer and just the entries that are open. I return to the original screen. Each of these others can be clicked to see the entries that make up that balance. Further down, I've got the links fact box and the notes fact box that will be covered in further videos. If you don't wish to use the Power BI reports, that can be turned off quite easily. If we go to Actions, Display, Show High Power BI Reports. Click that, and then the remaining fact boxes that you do wish to use will take higher priority. If you want to get a clearer view of the actual list data and don't currently wish to use the fact box, simply click the little I in the circle to collapse the fact box pane. I've now got the full screen width available to me. However, that is a really useful function. So as I click between the customers, you'll see the fact boxes on the right hand side update, giving me oversight of their position, both in terms of documents and the financial position. If I want to sort the data, that's really straightforward. I can simply double click the name of a column. That will apply a default ascending sort so blank, blue, green, red, and so on. Double click again to reverse the sort to a descending sort. You can also click the downwards arrow or click the sort of space at the head of the column to open up the menu and do the same thing, ascending or descending sort and access the filter options, which I'll cover in a following video. We also have what's this, this says accessing the help, so it'll tell me about that field or that column. I hover over a column, I see a key tip that gives me um, the first line of help really. A quick bit of information about what this field, what this column actually does. If I click what's this, 
will access the same thing. But if I click Learn More or do Control F1, takes me out to the online help in docs.microsoft.com and we'll have a page relating to the area I was actually coming from. This may not be relating to the specific field yet. They are adding more information as we go along, but it will be to do with the area that I was working with. And we can see on the left hand side, I've got other options I can then start to investigate. At any point if I wish to export this list data, I can click open in Excel and open or save that file. And there's my data. I can also change the way this list data presents. This is the traditional list view. And top right here, this symbol here gives me the layout options. We're currently in the traditional list view. If I click the symbol and change to tall tiles, we see the other potential view. Currently using the contacts photo for the customer, but this could be the company logo, for example. And we also have the other option of just the tiles for a smaller grid view. Now that view particularly would be useful if I go across to the items list page. So again, the same kind of pattern. We have the list data here. You can click a columns and sort ascending, descending, hover over for information about that column. We have all the command bar options across the top for actions you may wish to take involving these records. And again, we see we have the fact box pane on the right hand side with details specific to line selected. So if I go down and select a different product, when I select a different item, the fact box update to give me information relating to that specific item. Now I might usefully change away from the list view here and use perhaps the tiles view. Because it could be new employees particularly find it useful to get an image of the product they're selling rather than just relying on a description or a code. And at any point, if I wish to go back to my role center, I can simply click the company name.